What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. And I feel like I haven't said that in so long. It honestly feels so good to be back. I know I've been a little MIA, so I'm really, really excited for today's video because we're gonna do a little get ready with me. I'm excited to show you guys my updated makeup routine. I've been super into this like no makeup makeup look, just really fresh and dewy and effortless. And I'm also really excited to give you guys a life update where I've been, what I've been up to. If you guys follow me on Instagram and you guys follow my stories and my posts, you guys may have noticed there is a lot of different things happening. Um, there's been a lot of changes, just a lot going on in my life. Some bad stuff that we had to overcome to get to the good stuff. And I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. Before we get started, I did want to give a huge shout out to Shein and She Glam for sponsoring this video. I always love partnering with them because it just makes such great quality products that are so affordable. Sometimes I'm sitting here like playing with this stuff, like how is it this affordable? And I've been using this brand new birthday skin primer, which is incredible. So I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. And I know you guys are going to love it. So. Let's get started. Okay, so I've already applied all of my skincare off of camera, all of the lotions and the potions and the serums, all the anti-aging everything, okay, because we need it, every bit of it. And now we're gonna move on to this birthday skin primer from She Glam. I have been loving this primer because it just really has made such a difference in my makeup. We're going to apply it with our finger. It looks like this. And a little goes a long way, you guys, but what I love the most about this is just how lightweight it is and the way that it feels on my skin. I don't like when primers feel overwhelming or too oily or like too silicone-y or anything like that. I like them to feel nice and light, and I feel like this She Glam Primer does just that. I really love how smooth it feels on my skin. It literally just like melts into my skin, and I really find that it is very blurring when it comes to applying foundation. So if you're someone that has any texture or large pores, it is definitely a great product to help minimize the appearance of that and just make your makeup and your skin look absolutely smooth and flawless. I really like to get in there, especially like around the crevice of my nose. Like anywhere where I find that like makeup tends to build up and get a little gunky, I really like to focus in those areas. So like right here, the little side of my nose and especially like right in here in like the center of my face where my cheeks are. Okay, gonna apply a little on my forehead. So not only does this primer make your skin look amazing, it is also infused with plant oil extract, so it's just super nourishing to the skin. It's really, really hydrating as well because it is a water and oil-based primer, so it's just gonna be really, really nice and hydrating for your skin. It's basically gonna make your skin look amazing and feel amazing all day long. Okay, so now I have applied that primer all over my skin. You guys can see it leaves me a really nice, beautiful, luminous, glowy texture. And the best part about it, you guys, is this primer is only a whopping $6. How they do it, I have no clue. And on top of that, you guys can use my special code. It's ANGEL15 to get 15% off the entire Shein website. So you guys are going to get some major, major savings. You guys can search for this primer on the Shein website or on the Shein app. You guys can type in birthday primer and it'll pop up for you guys. Now we're going to move on to a little foundation. And lately I've just been liking something really, really lightweight, something almost like a tinted moisturizer or like a skin tint, if you will. And I like to just take it on a beauty sponge and just kind of start to stipple it and blend it onto my skin. I've really been liking the way that my skin looks where I'm not completely covering it with like a super full coverage foundation, but but just something that's a little bit more lighter, something that it almost looks like you can see through the skin, if that makes any sense. So as you all know, as we all know, 2020 has been a crazy year. It was a crazy year for everyone. And it definitely made me take a couple of steps back <laughs> and analyze my life and everything that I had going on. Um, and it just really, really put a lot of things into perspective as I'm sure it did for you guys. It was definitely a year of realizing things, you know? And for me, it was really about understanding that like life is just way too short. And as you guys know, I recently have stepped into my 30s and it's been a huge transition for me. And I think that going through life and, and getting older, you go into these different phases of your life that require a different version of you. And I feel like the angel that I was in my 20s, especially my early 20s, is not in no way, shape or form the angel that I am now. I feel like I just have so much more clarity of the things that I want, the things that make me happy and just the things that matter in general. And that's kind of just like the wave that I've been on. At the top of this year, I really, really wanted to make it a point to really buckle down on my health and fitness. Um, 
I feel like it's something that I shared with you guys before, but it's honestly been such a struggle in my life for the longest time, ever since I can remember. I've always had just like some struggles with my, just my weight in general. You know, I fluctuate so much. I feel like for years I've been like in and out of the gym, dieting for certain periods of time because I have like an event or a shoot coming up and then just kind of like going back to old habits. And I get asked all the time, like what was different for you this time? I feel like this time what made it different for me is just really truly understanding that health and fitness is a lifestyle. It's not just like a, a diet moment. It's not just like a, let me get it together for a little bit. Um, it truly is a lifestyle and it's something that I have um, made a lifestyle for myself and I'm so happy that I have because it has literally transpired and just affected everything else in my life in a positive way. And I'm gonna make a whole other video about my health and fitness journey and answer all of you guys' questions. Whatever questions you guys have about my health and fitness journey, please leave them in the comments below. I definitely feel like focusing on my health and fitness is what really kind of created this changed for me it really really changed my perspective on life and just everything that i am and just everything that i've been doing okay skin is looking good look at that skin look at that foundation i love that this primer still makes my skin look glowy i feel like it really enhances my foundation and i just love how smooth my skin looks it just looks really nice and flawless and fresh so i told myself right before i started from this video that i really wanted to open up to you guys a little bit more and just share, you know, a couple of things about me. Um, you guys know that I am a very, it's so interesting because I feel like I'm a very open person. Like I share so much on social media, but at the same time, there's a lot of things in my life that I just kind of keep to myself or that I've learned to keep to myself. And one of those things has been, uh, you know, my dating life and relationships and stuff like that. I, <laughs> I met someone um over quarantine like end of 2020 and i was trying to and, it, and, and if you know you know because I, I was posting little like moments on my stories uh and some of you guys were like catching on um you know and i was seeing this person for a few months it ended up not working out um and when it ended up not working out i really had a hard time with it, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. It was something that was um, unexpected for me because I wasn't expecting to like meet someone, especially during quarantine and lockdown. But as you guys know, when there's nothing else to do other than like hang out at someone's house or spend a lot of time with them, things just kind of happen and they move really, really fast. And for me, that's kind of what happened. And it just ended up not working out. And I feel like, you know, when something like that happens, when you're like seeing someone and it doesn't work out, I think naturally we all kind of wonder like, what is wrong with me? Like, what did I do? Like, am I the problem? I feel like a lot of the times we go through life seeking validation from the people around us, whether it's our friends or our family or whoever we're seeing, a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever. And I found myself kind of doing that um, with this person and when this person was no longer there and I was just kind of left by myself, it kind of made me feel a little kind of like, you know, when you are seeking that validation in someone else and that person is no longer there, then what do you have? You have yourself. And it really, really kind of opened my eyes to just being okay with myself and wanting to explore more of myself and, and just really, really set me on this like self-love journey. But this happened right before um, Shayla's wedding in Mexico. And when I went to Shayla's wedding in Mexico, I was kind of like decompressing from that situation and just being around genuine love and just being around just like a lot of friends that I hadn't seen in a long time because of COVID and lockdown. Um, it just really, really did something to me. And I think especially with the fact that it was a wedding and everyone was just so genuinely happy for them. Um, all, all like this love that I was witnessing before my eyes was really, truly inspiring for me. And it made me feel like, you know what? Yes, the situation didn't work out for me, but I'm witnessing that it can happen and that it is happening to those around me. So it kind of gave me this sense of like hope, if you will. And it really, really set me onto this like self-love journey and me really wanting to work on myself because I feel like when you are searching for love or wanting to be in a relationship, you have to be whole before you can step into something like that. And that's kind of the journey that I've been on um, since then. I'm just gonna set that under eye concealer with the translucent powder. I also like to just dust translucent powder like all over my nose. 
because I tend to get really, really oily just to kind of really mattify and keep everything nice and under control. All right, now I'm just setting the rest of my face with a finishing powder. Just anywhere that I didn't apply that translucent powder. So let's talk about my self-love journey because I feel like that has truly been my theme of 2021 is like self-love and working on myself and with that it means a lot of different things i've learned it's not just like taking care of my body and and working out and and trying to get fit but it's also like my mentality the way that i like talk to myself the way that i look at myself um and even the things that i'm deciding to partake in the people that i have around me like self-love is such a broad thing and i'm still on this journey um but i am really loving it and i really love sharing it with you guys and i hope that it inspires you guys to do the same but essentially the things that i've been doing is just really really taking the time to like identify the things that make me happy and doing more of that and also choosing to be happy. I feel like there's a lot of situations that sometimes come our way that we don't have any control over. But what we do have control over is the way that we respond to them and the way that it affects us. So I've always been like a glass half full kind of person versus like half empty. And I find that having that mentality and that attitude towards things, especially the negative things, just makes it a lot easier to deal with and to, to push forward and to basically keep going. In the process of my self-love journey and my health and fitness journey, I definitely feel like I have this like newfound confidence. I feel like in my 20s, I was really confused of who I am, who I was, what I wanted out of life. And I feel like now in my 30s, I'm just so much more secure in everything that I want out of life and everything that I am and everything that I want to be. And that has not been an easy process, trust me. It has definitely taken a lot of work, definitely taken a lot of self-reflection, but I almost feel like I, I'm, I'm like entering into this like new phase of me. And I know that you guys have noticed it because literally every time I like post stuff on, on, on my stories or like my feed, like you guys always show me so much love, thank you. But the number one thing that I love the most is that you guys notice it. And you guys send me so much love and so many messages saying like, wow, you're like glowing differently. There's just something about you. And that to me makes me so happy because that that's exactly what I want. You know what I mean? Like I want to be the best version of myself. And through this self-love journey, I feel like I'm getting closer to that. And I feel like it's an, it's an ever going journey, but being able to work on it every single day and, and seeing the progress throughout the time is what I think matters the most. And that's kind of just the wave that I've been on. I think a little bronzer, a little bronzer to warm up this face. And now I'm gonna pick up some of that same bronzer on a blending brush. And just gonna add a little bit to my eyes, starting in my crease. So let me tell you, this self-love journey, honey, she is not just about self-love. She's also about realization, <laughs> realizing things, realizing things over here. And one of those things is, you know, choosing to put yourself first. That's something that I feel like I've struggled with for the longest time. I've always been the type of person where like, if a friend needs something, if anybody needs anything and they call me, I'm always the one to be like, yes. And even if I can't, like, I gotta try to figure it out. And I've learned this year that I gotta put myself first, that I gotta set these boundaries. And the people that truly love me and care about me are going to respect those boundaries. And that alone, and going through that process has opened up my eyes to a lot of people that just don't need to, to be in my life. And that has also been something really hard for me to deal with along the way because, you know, there's people in your life that you think they're gonna be in your life forever. You know, that best friend, that day one. And like I said earlier, as we are transitioning into different phases of our lives, and as those different phases and those different levels are requiring a different version of ourselves, sometimes the people that we're used to having around us just kind of don't really align with that anymore. And that's okay. And that's the hardest part to be okay with is, is being okay with that being okay. I don't know if I'm making sense. I hope that I am. It's making sense in my brain. Um, but if you're watching this and you're kind of going through the same thing, this is your sign to always put yourself first, always. If people around you aren't inspiring you, if people around you aren't bringing positivity into your world, into your life, then you need to reevaluate these people around you. Something else that I've been doing a lot lately, um, which is something that truly fills my soul is, I've been traveling a lot, um, just visiting different places, um, seeing old friends, 
um, just having some really, really awesome, just great life experiences. If you are someone that has not yet traveled, um, listen, it fills my soul and I feel like it's such a great way to learn more about yourself. Um, just being able to experience different people, different cultures, just anything outside of like your everyday, I think is so, 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 so huge, very much needed. All right, loving the eyes. I'm just gonna curl the lash. I like to just wipe off any like excess product that's like on my actual lashes. I'm also really excited because over the last few months I've had, this probably looks so weird. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, over the last few months, I've been um, able to start a few passion projects that are really exciting to me, things that are outside of beauty. So I have a few projects that I'm working on that are coming soon that I'm really excited to share with you guys once everything is ready to go. Um, but that's been really, really exciting. I've just been really wanting to explore um, just more avenues of what I can do as an entrepreneur, not just in beauty, but in other spaces as well. So that's been really exciting and really challenging. Um, I find that like when you are comfortable, when you're in a space where you're just kind of like coasting, it's time to get a little uncomfortable. And I kind of felt like that's where I was a little bit. So it's been really exciting to be able to put my energy and just creativity into some new things. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter just to add a little bit more glow to my skin the high points of my cheeks boom, boom, boom. so something I want you guys to notice is how smooth the highlighter looks and you guys know sometimes highlighter will show a lot of texture on the skin but I really really love how smooth not only my highlighter but like my entire skin looks um, because of that primer I definitely find that this primer for the price like under ten dollars is comparable if not better than some of the high-end primers that are like $40, $50 plus, um, which to me is like, how, how do they do it? How do they do it? I need to know the secret. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we changed up the look. I decided to ditch the curls for a little bit. Um, I have just been wanting a new look to just kind of go with this like new vibe that I'm on, this kind of like new me, this new version of myself. So I literally sat down with my Barbara Julian and I was like, let's let's cut my hair off. I was um, going to Miami for the Live Billboard Awards and right before I left, I was like, let's just, let's just cut it off, let's just do it. And I was so nervous because I'm used to like volume and height and like my curls. Um, so let me know if you guys like it. I kind of love that it feels a little European. It feels very Latino, like reggaeton superstar. So let me know if you guys are vibing the hair. I also got some new piercings. I got my date, which is this little moment in here. Um, and then I don't know what this is called, but got this too. Um, and I just really have been loving it. I've just been loving just, you know, all these little changes that we are doing to just feel our oats and live our best life. All right, you guys, we are almost done. I'm just gonna add a little nose contour. I feel like my makeup is never complete without a little nose contour. It just always just brings everything together. All right, the very last thing I'm gonna do is hydrationation. We gotta hydrate our lips with a little bit of lip oil. And that's pretty much it, you guys. This is like my everyday, no makeup makeup, kind of like my updated routine. This is pretty much what I do, what I've been doing when I've been like going out to dinners and stuff like that, or I just wanna do a little something. You know what I mean? We're starting to finally start to get out into the world. So this is kind of like what I've been doing. Again, shout out to She Glam for sponsoring this video. I will leave my code in the description box if you guys wanna pick up this birthday skin primer, which I think you guys totally should. It's only six bucks, can't go wrong. And you guys can use my code, it's angel15, not only on She Glam products, but the entire Shein website. And I know you guys love to shop Shein, so make sure you guys use my code to save some money. I'm so glad I got to do this video for you guys and just give you guys a little life update, catch you guys up on what's been going on. Thank you guys for all of your love and support. Before you go, don't be shady, be a lady. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss a beat. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.